Hello everyone, this is RaySpace and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5 with the DLCs and with Astronomer's Visual Pack, but no part mods. So this is visual mods only, stock system, uh, no funny trap system or anything like that. And I've got Astronomer's Visual Pack, its requirements, and some of its rec recommended mods, Shatterer, Parallax, Distant Object Enhancement, Planet Shine, Textures Unlimited, and engine lighting. I'll put the full list in the video description. I installed them all of CCAN, and the goal is to keep things as simple as possible, and I want to do science mode. I haven't done science mode in a long time, except I had done it with KSP2 because that was the only mode that we could do that in, and I've recently felt a little bit more constrained in career mode with uh, both the Trappist system and with my career mode stuff in Realism Overhaul. And so I just want to build obnoxious things for a little while. And, uh, but I want to be able to collect science, so that's why we're doing science mode. And also, the, it occurs to me that I don't actually know all the things in stock. I'm not a stock specialist as opposed to some other people. So I haven't played around with the robotics or the stock repellers or anything like that. Uh, I'm not good at those. I'm not exactly fond of the propellers, to be honest, and I generally prefer Infernal Robotics for the robotics, but uh, I, I want to examine that. So I decided to go with the name All the Crazy Things, and I sort of set these up. Uh, these are the options, so we'll have a signal for control and all that, because it'll give us the possibility of some failures, and missing crews will not respawn, so we will have to deal with our... Kerbal's livelihoods uh, or stuff like that, but no life support at least. So, SAS, all SAS modes on all probes, eh, nah, that's fine. Uh, we'll obey all that stuff. We still have to go through the tech tree and I still want to collect science because that's fun. And we will see. Okay, so, mouse clicking. So, we've got this Naji enhancement there, and Eve, of course, because the clouds require that. I thought about putting volumetric clouds in here, but we'll see how Astronomer's Visual Pack does, because it, uh, Astronomer's Visual Pack has its own sort of cloud system. And, of course, we don't have contracts. We do have the tech tree, but we basically have to just sort of get science. So let's get science. I don't want to belabor these beginning parts. The goal is to get to the point where I can build large things. I don't think the tech tree is going to be much of an impediment. And one other thing I want to do is if you guys have craft files that you would like to uh, like me to try out, we can do that as well because I'm not going to be constrained by a budget and uh, this is just stock with the DLCs. So if you have the stock plus DLC craft files, I can try those out as well if you want to. Um, though I don't know if YouTube comments in putting links in them is a good idea. Um, I'll have to think about that. But anyway, we've got the booster, but we don't have the couplers. I, I will try to keep my Kerbals relatively safe and not do obnoxious things, <laughs> mostly. I, I want to build obnoxiously large vehicles and stations and such, and finally get down to building bases, which I don't I haven't gotten to do enough of because I've been in Realism Overhaul, which doesn't allow for too much of that. Um, so, yeah, we will see how far I get with this. I don't think I need fins. I don't have the part count to, uh, limit. Yep, yeah, good. <laughs> I, I don't want to be limited for this one. I'll thrust limit this, though. All right, we've got two containers. I don't have the thermometer or anything, but this should get us enough of the science to unlock a few things, and we'll keep it untitled spacecraft, and Jeb has probably snuck in. So... Uh, at some point, uh, once they get to the robotics, you guys can explain that stuff to me. Otherwise, I'm mostly experienced with things, maybe? I should have dumped the mod propellant, though. Uh, so I'm gonna observe the goo. And except for visual mods, I'm not gonna have any quality of life improvement kind of things. So no MS3 gall pad or any of that business for now. I'm just gonna keep that one. We'll have an EVA here. Keep. Big surface sample. Keep. Board. Okay, and then SAS on. Thought all doesn't matter, but go. Wait, 
Well, if there's as high as we're getting, let me just deploy shoot while it's slow. Actually, while we're still going up, it probably shouldn't deploy, right? I thought that was a rule, but anyway. Crew report. Keep. We don't we we don't have anything to uh, upgrade the building, so I guess this can be done too. Keep board. I said I'd keep the Kerbal safe, but apparently not that safe. <laughs> uh, we, we can do the EVAs like that. Okay. Oh great, it's pointing straight down. Hopefully the parachute will help. Okay. That's some ouchy g-force right there. Oh. Okay, and recover. Alright, 28.5 science altogether, and Jeb should have... Oh, one experience point. Okay. So, well, certainly engineering and basic rocketry, and survivability? I think I'm gonna get the survivability first. Okay, let's see what I can do here. And they can EVA already. There's a decoupler and a heat shield. So I think we can get to orbit because there's no part count limit or pad limit. Okay, and then bonus booster. Extra hammer at the bottom. Some fins, because I don't have to worry about part count. I can even paint bits different. Okay, and maybe some extra science here. Got two goo containers. And I'll slap the thermometer and barometer. I'm just going to call it arrow. And we'll, we'll send Val this time. Okay, there we go. This is going to be our orbital rocket. Skipping the whole gang to space first part. Here we go. And we probably want the staging immediate. Barely getting off the ground here. Just hold it steady, Val. No, oh, Parallax is doing some trees over here. Whoops, forgot to throttle up. Alright, on we go. And we just drop the thing on the space center, but that's why I have indestructible facilities. Ah, oh, the mob propellant is still there. Shoot. Alright. And staging. Okay, no flip. Are we high over... or in the high atmosphere? Upper atmosphere, yes. Keep. Log temperature, keep. Log pressure. I action grouped it, but I still do this. Getting some friction over here. Okay, well, let's cool it off for a sec. Alright, we're in space. Let's continue the burn. Gotta make sure to have enough to come back, though. So, if we end up short of orbit, then we, we end up short of orbit. Darn mod propellant. Probably extra a blade or two. But, here in space, I can observe more mystery goo. Wait a bit. Val can uh, do some stuff here. EVA report. Keep. Can Val grab that stuff? Take data. This is the upper atmosphere data. Take data. Board. And then we can record the in space data. Yeah, 
Okay, we are in orbit with 139 meters per second left to do the deorbit burn, which should be enough. And so achievement, yay. I mean, of course, we don't have a contract for it, but it's important anyway. And we can probably do some extra EVAs. Let's see. I probably already did the water one, though. Yep. We'll wait for another biome. Shores, excellent. It's always tough to get shores normally. Grasslands, okay. Islands, excellent. Ah, water, okay. Forget it. Uh, we've gotten enough. Let's rotate the view. And... Retro. And retro burn. Okay, that is what I'll take. 24 kilometers. And we really don't need this anymore. Off it goes. Unfortunately, Val still has not ranked up to hold retrograde. But this is in the Trappist-1 system, so hopefully it's not too critical. Uh, well, I could probably quickly get Desert here. Let's see. Island still. Come on. Deserts. There we go. Board. All right. So aiming to splash down, well, somewhere over in the water here. Okay, we have ablation going on. Should stay retrograde now. Well, looks like we'll make it to land again, though. Maybe. Maybe just short, which should be alright, actually. That would be a good thing. Very convenient. Home continents, but on the west coast. The only sad thing is we can't do Kerbal rescues, but we can get as many Kerbals as we like, presumably. Okay. Well, I guess we could do an EVA here, too. Okay, don't sink, though. All right, recover vessel. All right, 122.2. And Val's got level one. So, general rocketry, uh, my favorite little terrier. And we not get solar panels here. We don't get solar panels there. We get them all the way out at 90 there. Flight control, eh. Batteries and science juniors will be good. But then real decouplers. I'm gonna go with the real decouplers. All right, we need to do more science. Let's go to um, Minmus. How about Minmus? We can go to Minmus. I don't have to unlock anything to do with the tracking station for mission planning or anything like that. Should be a breeze. Got much bigger tanks. Not that we need to worry about part count, but, you know, we have to maybe be concerned about wiggles. We'll make it look somewhat the same, maybe. Oh, and we want the terrier up there. It's tempting to put the thumper on the bottom here and make it a really, really tall rocket. But that doesn't bode well for the survival of our Kerbal. Doesn't provide a huge amount of benefit either. So we'll just keep it to this sort of size. And now with the Terrier in the second stage, we're getting 5,288. So that's good. And we'll just call it Arrow 2. It's sort of an upgraded arrow. One thing that would be good is if we sort of eyeball it for when we're supposed to launch. That's not a bad time. If you get 
Mimus' orbit as it, at its most diagonal, then when you should launch is when the space center is crossing that. So you can see it's sort of crossing that diagonal line, which is Mimus' orbit. And so this will be a good time to launch. All right. And we're applying for an off-plane transfer, though I could launch directly into that inclination. Um, we just have to go up by 5 degrees and then we'll be sort of matching it, but maybe I'll just do an off-plane transfer, it'll be fine. Okay, throttle up, and actually staging like this, and go. Oh, I wanted Jeb to be in there, but oh well. And I still haven't dumped the monopropellant. Okay, staging. Up, oh, he turned too quickly there. Okay, staging. Right now, three degree difference and decreasing. Without correcting the inclination, we could just meet up with Mimis over there. Yeah. This is okay too. Okay, we can coast for a sec, but maybe, uh, no, I, I don't think we can't, can we do a direct sort of burn? Let's see. We're down to a 1.3 degree inclination with Minmus. That's the moon. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a little bit suboptimal. Okay, well, I guess we can do that. A hurry. There's a moon op opportunity there. I don't know why I'm going for Minmus first, but whatever. Decided it'd be fun. Alright, there's a Minmus Periapsis. Ah, that's going up. Okay, we'll do an adjustment mid course. And on we go. We're not taking in any power. Okay, we are high over Kerbin though. So here in the dark, I'm. I'll reserve the mystery goo for high over Minmus and low over Minmus. I don't know if we'll get low over Minmus though, but then we can get high over Kerbin afterwards. So, get the thermometer, get the barometer, get the crew report, EVA. Get the EVA report. We can only do one crew report, right? Or is that no longer a thing? Take data. Take data. Board. Okay, we got that stuff for now. Well, I guess we could EVA, like, take data and then board, maybe. I forget if that was a way to do it. Okay. On to Mimis. Well, on to mid course correction time. Alright, say right here. Well, that's a mild 4.3. It doesn't preserve a good periapsis for us, but I think I'll take that. Pretty close to Mimis' surface. Should be good. Ah, a little bit late, but will be okay. Alright. 17 kilometer pass. Very inclined on the way back, but we'll be changing that anyway. Well, we won't be changing the inclination, but we'll change the periapsis. Okay, heading on to Minimus. Tom's stretched here, and out here, Val is all alone. Okay, we are in Minmus SOI. There's Minmus. Observe Mystery Goo. Keep. Pressure. Temperature. 
Nuclear report. EVA. All good. Now to low orbit minutes. Right under 20 kilometers here, observe mystery goo. Near Mimis, all right, keep. And then the pressure, temperature, EVA. Board and crew port. All right, that should be good. We'll get back into Kerbin space and then plot a uh, burn to bring ourselves down. I'm just pulling retrograde here because I also want to slow down. I don't want such a high apoapsis either. And we have the Delta V. So just a flyby of Minmus, but we got plenty of science. Really, I think I can go now and we just need to burn to the point where the periapsis is a good periapsis. I'll take 24. I'd like 26. Let me try for 26, but I'll have to thrust them at this little guy. Hey. Okay, 26 it is. Alright. Going back home. A bonus moon encounter would be fancy. But I'm not going to risk having Val be a rescuee. Not right now. Wouldn't be hard, but... Well, we, we were actually pretty close, huh? But inclination-wise, it's horrible. And Kerbin. Okay, dumping the stage. And we can hold retrograde. And in we go. Alright, what kind of g-force will Valentina endure on this entry? Probably not too high still. Alright, things have calmed down. Hopefully we're not going to smack into a mountain. Let us see. Well, these clouds are fluffy enough for me. Okay, parachute. Well, it looks deserty. Those seem to be cacti. And really tall weeds. Well, let's just check. Yep, deserts. I think we've already done deserts, but... Okay. Recover. I should have gotten thermometer and barometer, but it's fine. We should have plenty of science after that. 335 science on a quick mission. Flyby. And so, no, well, let's get basic science and solar panels. And probably I want general construction, but need to do planes as well. We definitely need to do shuttles. No excuse when you don't have any budget to worry about. Launch clamps. Well, everything's important. Well, why don't I just go straight for tracking solar panels? That'll save us a lot of annoyance. You know, let's go up there and I'll get general construction to fill that part out. I think that's a good combination. Alright, so that's the first episode. Uh, I'll continue on and I'll quickly get the science so that we can build big things and we'll see what I can come up with. So the goal is stations, bases, that sort of deal. And yeah, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.